The bearing on the back hasn't been done yet. Steve uh, is going to do it this coming week at some stage. Um, I've got to clean out the paint on the inside of the cabin has started to peel. Um, it was bathroom emulsion. The bloke who had it before had been using it for ages and uh, I thought I saw no reason to change. But uh, and the emulsion has started to give way from the fiberglass, only in certain places, amazingly. So I guess that's where most of the condensation is, but this poor old boat does suffer a lot of condensation. First of all, uh, first of all, you know, it's um, got a leaky back end. Uh, and secondly, when I'm on it, I produce a huge amount of moisture. So one way or another, it's in, in, it's in commission all through the year. So it gets wet all through the summer and all through the winter. The, basically, the Navy had a very interesting measuring stick. Uh, if the paint wouldn't come off with uh, a wire brush, uh, a recalcitrant man wielding a wire brush with a keen man in charge of the recalcitrant man, in other words, you know, a bosun or whatever, uh, if it wouldn't come off with the application of a wire brush, then uh, it was good enough to be repainted and you could wait until it wanted to fall off again. So that's basically the way the Navy does it. Now, uh, wire brushes are great. But we do have something better now. Uh, here, so I'm going to just attack this where it looks as though it's giving way and then spray it uh, and then paint it with um, cheap household gloss paint, oil based paint, horrible stuff. Um, but it's designed to stick. Uh, and so with any luck, and, and it'll be retain its flexibility, so it might just allow it, you know, and then if I have to do this in another three years, who cares? That's fine, don't mind. Um, but it was starting to fall off and into the food. I was finding bits of emulsion paint in the food. So hopefully I will solve that problem. Bad thing is I've got to make a mess in here and also I'm going to sleep in here, which is bad. But meantime, I'm going back to the butchery. When we, when we use it, these are dead man's stock, there's one on there as well. Yeah. And basically, these three controls here. That's the actual flail up and down. Just put it in and out of gear, or in and out Does of Does it make you more effective? I think so. I think so. You're more productive? Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? More safety. Oh, absolutely, no, 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 no. It's got to be easier on your hips, hasn't it? It's on hips, there's no halves, it's a hand-arm vibration, and there's no wrist to an operator. How long before they do away with you, though? <laughs> you know, I've fiberglassed the outside, you can see that it's a pretty horrible jump, but um, it's sticking. That's the main thing. Don't care what it looks like. Um, it's well covered. So that's as much as you're going to get. Consider yourself fixed. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is some varnishing. Here's a Dylan Winter micro tip. Always wear gloves, because the gloves are dirt cheap and it's easy to just take gloves off. And if you've got gloves around, then you may just as well use them for storing the brushes in between jobs. And what I'm doing now is a bit of speed varnishing. It's a lug worm. Yeah. And they go in, 
in here where the cast comes where out. the cast comes out, so a cast is going in every place. Yeah, they go in, yeah. they go along, yeah. and they breathe through that one. So they come up, so they dig down, and then kind of, how far down do they go? Uh, depends. Usually about a foot down. And, and this is them? This, this yeah, is it's not very, not very, that's all that's right, that's a, that's a nice log room. It's not a pretty thing, is it? Not really, not a pretty thing, that's no, got, it's got a little floats on the side where it digs its way through. Oh, does it? Oh, it's got yeah. ridges along its back? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that kind of, they, they stick out, so it pushes yeah, so forwards it pushes and through. through. yeah. Wow. So, and how, and at the, this time of tide, how far down are they on average? Six inches down? Yeah, it's about a foot. See, a I foot down? That, the, the tail's now come off, look. So that's, a, you that's no a, good? Crap, that'll be all right. As I keep it away from so the they're, they're designed to lose their tail, are they? Like, yeah, they're, um, yeah, yeah. All you've got to do is get hold them wrong and the tail come off. <laughs> Bugworm. And you can't catch, what are you trying to catch with them? Anything. Anything. Flats. Everything likes that, Everything do they? Likes Everything that. likes that. So like all that. the fish like this? Yeah. So this is the main source of food, is it? It's the easiest one So do you, what else do you dig up when you're digging here? You Nothing else? You can get some uh, ragworm, some uh, silver They're like silver, but like, yeah. like centipedes That's or like that. Yeah. Yeah. But they're uh, usually very Do you never find any crabs? No. Where do the crabs go then? Uh, usually in the mud banks. Who do they? So yeah. you could go along there and dig them out? Oh, I've never done it, but you could do, possibly. Could yeah. Oh. <laughs> and there, sort of gone and dig. I want to see you dig, man. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of water now. Is that, that makes it harder. You got, you got to go. You got to keep on the move. It feels oh, I did try digging my uh, my boat level one place, and it was bloody hard work. Here you go. And there's another one there, isn't there's there? Another one here, yeah. You mustn't pull them. Do you pull them in half? Oh, do they? Yeah. And then and then they won't keep in your bucket. No. So how long will they keep in the bucket? Uh, two or three days. Do you keep them in the fridge? I uh, usually, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I'll clean them when I get Is your back. wife happy about that? <laughs> she doesn't know. She, she doesn't know you keep in the fridge. Of course she does. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you, you think your wife doesn't know your own fridge? Don't be stupid. Yeah, she she knows you do. So yeah. you keep them in a Tupperware box? Yeah. With holes in the top? Yeah. And she, she never once <laughs> thought, what are they? What's that? Oh, man. <laughs> Gee, you naive bastard. <laughs> No, I clean them when I, I clean them for a girl, then when I get back I'll clean them again and put them in the newspaper. I, I... You hear that? <laughs> it's raining. Uh, so I can't do any more work on the boat. But it's in pretty good shape now actually, I've repaired the steps. Um, the inside's been painted, it's white, look at that, it's white shiny white you used ordinary household white paint which is what the bloke said to do before it had bathroom emulsion on it and that was cracking we'll see whether that will work or not but it's a brighter inside uh, i think i've cleaned up all these spots of paint i've filled the hole and the hole hole filled inside and outside so all I'm waiting for now is for the bits for the back end and for it to stop raining. But I don't think it's going to stop raining. However, the boat is getting close to being ready for the water. Next time I come down, as long as the back end goes together correctly, then I can float again, which will be great.